An already tough allergy season is about to get even worse. That's because of a one-two punch of changing weather and changing seasons. Meteorologist Pete Mangione has the story, new at 5.30. Well, as you can see behind me on the East Bay bike path, the sun is out, the rain is gone, but the nicer weather does come with a trade-off. Enjoying an afternoon run, Shayna Jubert knows she is one of the lucky ones. I don't really get affected by the pollen too much um, on my run, sometimes a little sniffly, but nothing compared to what I see with some people. Some of those people include biker David Auger. They get bad, but uh, it gets under control when I take like Claritin and Flonase and medications like that. Dr. Alan Gaines from the Allergy and Asthma Centers of Rhode Island says the recent rainy weather kept pollen counts in check, but starting now, that is likely to change. This is probably going to be one of the worst weekends of the uh, springtime season, I think, coming up. In addition to the overall drier weather pattern allowing the pollen counts to rise, we are also caught in an overlap of two seasons. Tree season is not over yet, and grass season is also starting to peak. So what can you do? The first line is uh, antihistamines, the newer antihistamines, the once a day ones that tend not to cause any drowsiness. Gaines recommends nasal steroid sprays instead of decongestant sprays, which can be addicting. It's critical to take the medications before you take the bike out or do anything else that could bring on symptoms, which include <laughs> sneezing, itchy eyes, and congestion. You can try starting with over-the-counter medication. But if, if you've been using the medicines for a week or two and it's not in improving, then you probably need to get some professional uh, advice. And if you suffer from allergies and are looking for some help, we've linked some information on our website at WPRI.com.